Hello and welcome to something a little bit different here. We are in the Advanced Legends. Pretty much the only time you'll see me run these things is if uh, someone like Nick says, Hey, I'm going to run this. Does anyone want to join? And uh, that's what I do. <laughs> that's what I've done here today. Langley is the venue. And uh, like I said, Nick's in here. And we've also got uh, Gavin Ropchan in here as well. Um, Nick the Four, Gavin the Seven. And uh, I think that's about the extent of the people I know. But uh, we've got a 15 car field and we've got qualifying coming up. Uh, a guy named Brad shared his setup to everybody in the uh, session, the practice session beforehand. So thank you to him. Um, just being generous and letting everybody in on what he's got. Seems to work okay for me, but um, you may have seen what Nick replied to me when I said good luck. Getting on the brakes just very dangerous. Makes the car when I die spin out, so it's pretty darn tricky. And it's really easy to push pretty hard on exit. This is definitely uh, a real challenge. This car is really, really unique. And I have very little experience driving it, so this ought to be interesting. At the very least. Hopefully we get some good laps in. Overdrove 3 and 4 there, and that's going to kill the lap. But 16.7 is not all that bad, I guess. P5, you're currently no idea what I'm doing in this car. I hopefully can just prevent myself from crashing. And uh, make it to the end. Hopefully we get some green laps in. All that good stuff. Also, the motor's really quiet. I guess that makes sense because it's pretty, you know, low-powered. But I actually increased the volume a little bit on that. So hopefully that doesn't ruin the engine volume for other cars later. But I adjusted the sound volumes a little bit. Just going to get some more practice in while I can. Really using the apron here at Langley, as is often the case. A place that you could definitely uh, get some speed by getting the car to turn on the apron a little bit. Almost feels like I'm getting faster <laughs> as the tires are uh, getting used, which is interesting. Yeah, looky there, that was my best lap ever. Um, don't know if I'm going to push quite as hard in the race, because I feel like I'm going to wreck myself trying to do anything too crazy, so instead I'm going to try to just be consistent, not wreck myself, because um, while I was practicing and the times I did spend, yeah, felt like as soon as I got sideways it was really tough to not have this thing just That's completely Seventh position. wipe out on me. So it looks like we'll be starting seventh, pretty much directly right in the middle of the field. Um, I assume a couple of these guys, these really high rating, high rating guys, wow, 9.2k. They're probably uh, regulars that you're here, if I had to guess. The number two, also a 5.8k I rating, he has. I'm the number three. And uh, we've got a 3.6k strength of field, which I'm sure uh, my crew chief will let everybody know about. So, Nick will be starting right behind us. My apologies to him. Because whether I wreck or be slow, I'm probably not going to be somebody that uh, anyone wants to follow. But I'll do my best. There it is, 3610. I think that 9000 I rating guy probably... Probably inflating that quite a bit. Because I see we got guys, uh, you know, down to the 2700 area, which is actually, this, that's pretty high still. So, you know what, pretty strong field. Um, <laughs> we'll see what happens. That's pretty much where uh, where I'm at. We'll see what happens. Hopefully it'll be clean. I'm worried because um, I'm worried we're going to get a stack up and I'm going to need to hit my brakes. And then once I do that, the car's going to wipe out. So I think the, the goal, the plan is leave a lot of space uh, in front of us. So that way we don't have to jam on the brakes and end up pitching sideways. Um, try not to put myself in a situation where I have to do that if I can, but it's going to be hard to avoid. 
I have no clue. Um, Follow like the, how to restart five. in this thing. You and Frank can identical that. It's such a weird car. Like you've got like freaking ten thousand RPM. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice that. Like almost eleven thousand. I can count uh, how many times I've driven this car, probably on both hands. Probably at like six or seven times I've driven this thing. Is it a second gear start? Looks like it. I guess we'll, that's what we'll go with. Like I said, leaving a little bit of space. I wonder if uh, we need to get our brakes up to temp or something, if that would help. No clue. I'm gonna leave space. Hopefully Nick understands. I didn't want to just not qualify because I figured then we're still gonna end up in the middle of the pack if a bunch of people don't qualify. Maybe I should have. Get ready. Going just started ground. in the back. But oh well, we'll see. 45 laps here at Langley. Green, 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 green. Alright, we're okay, we're okay. A little bit of movement around us. Don't run this guy over. Keep it smooth. Six gonna get in down low, that's fine, that's dandy. We are good. Not looking to be too aggressive. Ooh, I can feel a little bit loose right there. Got a potential pass here? No, not quite down there low enough. Maybe on exit. Maybe we can follow this guy through. That's a new fastest lap for Smith, 16.7. That's your quickest lap in this session. The guy behind has just done a 17.0. Ooh, he's really going to force it down there. That's exactly what I... Not Ooh! And there's the six. I guess the eight might have tapped him with his aggressive move to the inside. I promise you I'll be getting back up there. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, you'll like it back to the 7-11. I'm actually going to lower my force feedback a little bit. This thing's bumpy. Your giant head's like yanking my wheel around all over the place. Oh, whoa, okay. <laughs> Eight blinking out a little bit. I always have a mini heart attack whenever that happens because I always assume it's me before anything else. I'm like, oh, Jesus. So I guess we get a spot. That's cool. I know cautions do not count under uh, caution here, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I guess I said I know, and then if I'm not mistaken, so I guess I don't know, do I? But I think, uh, yeah, they do not count, so we do have a time limit for the race. 27 and a half minutes left right now. Hopefully won't need to be relying on that. Um, and hopefully for the eights case, that blink didn't cause him to go a lap down, because right now it's showing him a lap down on my relative, but that'll probably correct itself when we go green, but I guess we'll find out. Is this single file or double file? Is another question I have. One left to green. You're double on the file. This time. All right, we are in sixth place technically. After the guy wrecked. So we'll be able to see the leader, and uh, they are jump. Pretty recognizable baby blue on that car, so hopefully you can see it all right. Post car is off, time to do your job. Green flag, green flag. Ooh. P6. That scared me, they had no lap. I thought we were getting contact. Still there. Stay high, clear. P6 
I wasn't sure if I was clear or not. We're heading toward the wall. Still there, inside. Clear. Inside. I can't get to the bottom, man. Still inside. That space right here. Clear. Go ahead, Kevin. Go ahead. Finally able to get it in behind the RC Cola car. Fastest lap for Smith, 16.6. Not quite there, not gonna dive it in on the guy. Okay, Colton, the next car is Johnson. Uh, trying to get a run on him, but not quite able to do so, so far. Ooh, got loose down there. Don't do that. Good lap. That's your quickest today. Quickest today. Although I haven't really been able to push much yet. And there is a wreck. They want you in single file. Pit road is closed. We'll move up one more. Hopefully, be on the inside this time because the outside was not fun. That's all right. I'll be getting loose. Y'all must have just seen me almost die, because I almost Pit died and I looked my mirror and two years of ram. I believe we'll be in ninth, once it counts uh, the guy we passed, who wrecked, so that would put us on the inside, which would be great. What's about that one, Ron, that I, I sent you? I think it's probably going to be able to handle being on the outside better than yeah, I could, though. I like it. Oh, okay, cool. It, it's kind of similar, ain't it? Yeah, it dri definitely drives the same way. I kind of thought so. so. A couple wrecks so far. Thankfully, it looks like they've both just been single car spins. I will probably put one turn of bite into it. <laughs> <laughs> Second gear has been working fine, I think, in terms of uh, getting started, getting the launch. I'd love to get in, uh, in front of the 15 if we can with our inside start. I think I might have a little bit more speed, but I was having a tough time setting it up to get to his inside. I don't want to dive it in on him. Without actually having the car inside. One left to green. You'll be All right, there we go. Inside, inside line. That's what I like to see. Nick's up there. He's got the inside line again. We're falling back a little bit, but let's see if we can move back forward again. Still plenty of time left in this race. About to go green. Stay focused. Ice car is in. Green flag, green flag. P8. Outside. Keep low. Clear outside. Car outside. Clear high. Outside. Still there. Ooh, taking a lot of focus. Make sure that we are staying low enough Clear. on the track. I don't want to push up into anybody. Seventh position. And it's really easy to do. It feels like on the exit of the corners it gets pretty tight. Wow, this guy's blocking. Okay. That's your fastest lap. That's cool of him. Fair enough. Be patient. Fastest lap for Smith, 16.6. Whoa, that's pushing out toward the wall. Smith is 
now in the lead. You've just done a 16.9. Bit of a bundle up ahead. It looks like some cars really close to one another. Too wide right now. Wonder if we'll be able to get to the inside of that guy stuck too wide on the outside. Inside, clear inside. Oh wow! That guy just spun. That felt like it came out of nowhere. Shoot, that's gonna put us on the outside though, isn't it? That's brutal. Man, we just moved forward again too. Where's our choose cone? <laughs> I think we need one of those if we want to. now open. We want any luck. Make your own luck in that situation. Well, we're back behind Nick again. That's neat. I mean, we started ahead of him, but. <laughs> Really want to get back to that bottom as soon as I can, but you know, no one's gonna want to just give it up, so gonna try to be assertive but not reckless in getting down there. And whatever happens, happens. Um, being stuck in the outside is better than getting hooked and wrecking all the field behind us, so gotta keep that perspective, I guess. It says we're seventh right now, but I think that has not updated for the guy that spun. So I think we're gonna restart sixth. It still says that the eight is a lap down, which is odd. Not sure what's going on with the scoring there, because it says he's fourth. So that doesn't make much sense, now does it? Just gonna have to trust that that's working as intended. <laughs> and just race. Don't worry about it too much. One left to green. All right, You're it's on the outside, outside unfortunately. Time. See if we can uh, do a little bit better than we did last time. Maybe find our chance to get back to where we want to be. Still not even halfway though. Get ready, going green. It's kind of far back for some reason. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. P6. Shoot. Inside. He's still Clear inside. 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 Clear. Inside. Still there, inside. There's nothing I can do, man. This really stinks. Nothing I can do. This sucks. Oh, I hate this. I'm just going to go all the way to the back. There's nothing I can do about it. Still inside. Slow car ahead. Go high. Still there. Still there. Hold your line. Clear. Caution. Yellow flag. Line up. Single file. All right. He's closed right now. Oh my God! Please get off the gas pedal. Pass the pace car. The car in front of us is Weigley. Well, we avoided that. So maybe it's good we were falling back. I hope Nick avoided it. I know he was up there somewhere. Pass that twelve car. No idea where we're going to be now, with people all getting hit. No words about it, though. Looked like a nice handful of cars involved, though. Saw cars flipping everywhere. Got some guys coming in to fix damage, presumably. I know the nine was uh, involved. I'm not sure. I don't see much damage on them. Yes, I hope you did. A little bucking and diving, and I went through. 
Nick's still up there, so maybe he's all right. Seen you weaving. I was hoping you made it through there. Kevin's up uh, up there too. Hopefully doing okay. He's only sitting at tenth behind us, but he's up there in front of us, so that's why I have no idea what spot we're in. Let's see if we can count the cars. Closed. Pit road is closed. Ninth. So I guess our relative is correct in terms of my position. Ninth. I hope, because that would mean we're on the inside, which clearly matters a whole lot. I don't know, something just told me to back out. Such a helpless feeling to get stuck in that second lane, man. Just watching people fly by, looking for an opening, but never getting it. You'll be lining up on the inside. Oh, thank goodness. I don't know what the nine's doing. All right. Be interesting to see if any of the guys around us are off pace with damage. Hide car is off. Green, green, green. P9. Every time, man, that invalid lap scares me. Still there. Still there. Hold your line. Stay low. There was a car pace. on the high side. Last lap was out. Seventeen point three. Clear. Seven might have damage. He seems like he's a little off pace, perhaps. A little aggressive there, but it seems like I okay, was Colton, alongside him. He was going seven. high, as if he was trying to get out of the way. We are in seventh, so do I even want to pass the guy ahead? Or are we going to wait for a caution? I guess we'll answer that question if we have to even ask it, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to pass him. I'm okay, though. Uh, we've got some laps in now. Trying to do my best not to overdrive. You've just done a 16.8. Good lap. That's your best in the yeah, session. Great run on the RC Cola car right there. P7. I don't know if I want to pass him, though. I don't think I do. That lap was a 16.8. But I can't get held up and then let the guys behind us get caught up either. I'm just gonna think about this. That lap was a 16.8. Watch your speed. Cut down too low there. Gotta be careful. Johnson. Almost feels like the car's turning better now. Maybe it's a lighter fuel load making that a reality. Outside. Alright, outside we're gonna do it. Here. We're gonna go to his inside. P6. See if we can catch Nick now. Yeah, this one. I know he was not really that willing to use his brakes all too much, so maybe we can be a little brave and use our brakes and maybe get some more speed out of this thing. And catch him. We'll see. That's also presuming he's not using his brakes, which he could be. Eight. 
All right, I think we're inching closer, little by little. I'd like to get session last lap up for a more accurate reading. But I don't really have time to do it. We're getting closer, but are we going to be able to pass? I don't know. Just done a 16.9. I pushed a little bit there. Okay. Got some room behind us. That's good. Time to push. Time to push, I'm told. To get out of oh, speaking of pushing, we're <laughs> pushing toward the wall. That's not the right kind of push. He block on me like he did you. I'm gonna put him in the wall. Oh, please don't. Put me in the wall, baby. Let's see it. You've just done a 17. .2. Oh, Gavin. No wall. Somebody don't know how to drive that though. Nice job. You got five left to go. What do we have left in the tank? Feels like the car's getting tighter now. Sorry, Howard. Okay, Colton, push now. We can oh, catch we up here. Four to go. That was a seventeen point zero. The yellow flag is out. No, we're on the outside too. I hate it. I think you said it before, Ron. How? Oh, why did you guys have to wreck? We're, we're screwed, man. Yeah, we finished like 11th, if at best. Oh, this sucks. Pit Road is now open. This is why I was apprehensive about passing the 15, but... Oh. Man, we couldn't have just made it like three more laps. One gallon remaining, that's 44 laps, we're fine. These things really don't use much fuel, huh? What are we gonna do? Pete Road is closed right now. We just gotta hold on the best we can for about three laps. See uh, if we can avoid losing too many spots. Maybe find our way to the inside, but as much as I want to get down to the bottom Jeez, line, I got ends up with an eight X anyway because everybody behind me is gonna do everything they can to prevent me from doing that, so they can get the spot. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so one left to green. Oh, okay, never mind. Excuse Single me, file, I guess. Into the corner on the very first lap. Okay, didn't know that. I guess we're single file that with uh, less than 10 to go or something? Oh man, thank goodness. What a relief. Spun me out, went all the way to the tail. Get ready, going green. The pace car is off, be ready. Green flag, green flag. All right. Oh man, that I'm so happy that <laughs> we didn't have to start on the outside. And we can try to see if we can get to Nick again, but I really hurt my tires, I think. Two left to go, two to go. Two laps left, you've just done a 17.3. Oh my God, this thing's pushing hard. I cannot get this thing to turn anymore. What flag, what flag? 
I better just try to hold on. Not let the guy behind get to me. White flag, one more lap. All right. We'll get P6 then, that's fine. Sixth place. That's the finish. Ticket flag. Ticket flag. Alright, everyone's kind of coming up on us from behind. Find a safe spot to pull over. Eighty-two, eighty-nine. Yeah, that's probably the tightness I was feeling. A good race to Nick. He gets the top five there. We'll get a P6. One spot up from where we started. Gavin back there, they were people yelling. Nick says he was hurting on the long runs too, yeah. Even on that restart, I might have just been overdriving it on that restart, but it felt like I was not getting any turn. But we'll take a look back and see what happened out there. I think maybe, like I said, Gavin got involved in something. I wasn't quite sure what they were talking about. <laughs> someone threatening to send him or something but uh, early on here this is uh, that thing that happened in front of us the eight uh, really aggressively cutting down and then not being ready to uh, slow down for the corner for the six kinda like I was saying like if these things get sideways even a little bit it's just almost impossible to save it feels like it's just you're gonna go around it's just what I felt and it looks that's what it looked like there Barely gets sideways, but that's all it took. And here again, the 12 getting sideways, just no gathering it up for him. So that one, he was uh, loose first, and then the, uh, I think that's the 5 behind him, yeah. Gets up into him as he's uh, slow out of the corner. Then we jump to lap 17, that's just a... Yeah, that was right in front of us again. That was a weird spin. I'm not sure how that happened. That looked weird to me at the time, too. It, just, it looks like he just keeps turning left. Strange. Might just be a really uh, touchy setup or something he's got in that thing. Not sure. Lap 20. Oh, whoa, okay, this was this big wreck. Oh my god! <laughs> Nick had a car like trying to climb up the back of him. What on earth? Oh, so he did get hit in that a little bit. Did he get any? Yeah, he got a 4x from that. So I guess he was technically in it, but I mean, that guy's just not slowing down for the wreck at all. And he's doing some flips. That's a crazy wreck. Look out, flag man. It's about gets <laughs> the flag man involved in the wreck. But we have some flipping going on. I just hit the brakes and thankfully no one behind me comes flying in. We had some people... Oh, the 11! Woo-wee. And thankfully the 13 doesn't just throttle it up straight into me. That would have been annoying. Looked like he was going, going to for a second. <laughs> Scared me. But I slowed down for it. I did a lot of slowing down. <laughs> Looked like there were cars everywhere, so I kind of just was like, you know what, I'm just going to slow down and uh, <laughs> try not to hit anything. Hit the 9, then the 9's kind of rolling down the track. A lot of guys just kind of slamming on the throttle after they get involved in it. Makes for a, a tough wreck to avoid. Thankfully we do. Well, Nice handful of guys caught into that one. And uh, lap 21 looks like we're going to get restarted here soon. Don't know why we're seeing that, though. And the 14... Going to slam into the back of Gavin and then just spin out. Is this the guy that was, like, saying he was going to wreck him or something? <laughs> and then he spins himself out by running into him?
So I guess they're complaining because Gavin's kind of keeping a more defensive line, I guess, maybe? Is that what they're upset about? I don't know. And then the 12 just gives up? <laughs> weird. Maybe he got loose and it was one of those weird, like, loose that doesn't look like anything. Or maybe he sent his dog after him to wreck him. No clue. But, uh, 14 gets through and then immediately starts running into the back of Gavin, I guess. That's pretty dumb. He's very clearly just trying to wreck him or something. And then hilariously wrecks himself. So, uh, yeah, great job. And then is this what ends the race? I believe so. The eight's going to get loose and uh, collect the 12. And I believe that was the... Uh, actually, no, I'm, for some reason I'm thinking it ended under caution. That's not what happened. That was the late restart. I keep trying to see who that orange car is and it keeps exiting out. Oh yeah, this was the 12. He had backed out. Not very l much luck for those guys. 13 in the wall, and uh, the one gets the win. I'm going to add to his 9.2k I rating. And uh, gets the victory. So congrats to him. We'll get P6, and uh, looks like we're going to lose some I rating. But we had a clean race, so that's great. And uh, I'm happy with that finish, given that I never run these cars. I will definitely take it. We'll see uh, the exact numbers here in the race results. 36-10 strength of field. And there it is, negative 10. I rating will be below 5,600 again. That's cool. 132 championship points, though. That's a good number. I'm, I'm happy anytime it's about, you know, over 100. That's a solid finish to me. And, uh, rest of your results as we're scrolling down. We'll see them right here. So it's, it was pretty messy out there. You can see a lot of 4Xs, 10X for the 13. So we were one of four people, it looks like, that didn't get any incidents. That's pretty cool. 15 was another one of them. I think he was the RC Cola guy, wasn't he? So <laughs> nicely done to him. Good racing with him. And uh, thank you for watching. That will do it for some Advanced Legends. Thanks for joining me for something a little different in this one at Langley. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.